It was her first helicopter flight. A survey mission into the crater of Mount St. Helens. Things were going well until during the takeoff, erratic winds caused the helicopter to spin, catch a skid on rocky terrain, and roll over. She was sitting in the right rear seat behind the pilot. As the helicopter rolled, her door came open. The inertia of the roll thrust her head out the open door. Her head was trapped between the helicopter and the ground during the rollover. She was wearing this flight helmet. It sustained over 2,000 pounds of impact force. Yet she suffered only a headache and tender spots on her head for a few days. The flight helmet saved her life. The remote landing site was over 11,000 feet. It was a special use mission. The four passengers were from three different bureaus. There wasn't enough PPE for everyone. It was only a 15 minute flight. Just this one time, they said. The helicopter manager gave in to the group. They took the flight. At the landing site, the helicopter began to spin. The pilot lost control and the aircraft crashed. With the blade still turning, the transmission broke from its mouths, entered the cabin area, and battered two of the rear seat passengers, knocking them both unconscious for a period of time. The Helitac crew members sitting in the forward facing seat received the brunt of the beating. He was wearing this flight helmet. It saved his life. The other passenger was wearing this ball cap. He remained unconscious for some time with a concussion and a severely lacerated scalp. He continues to have blackouts to this day. These helmets have one thing in common. They save someone's life. Think about it. It's your choice. It may be your life.